Stop trying to fix yourself or trying to fix your circumstances and create your dream life now, today, on Awakening with Amy. Hi, welcome. I am Amy Valentine. This is Awakening with Amy, where we talk all things higher consciousness so you can awaken your ideal version of you. And today, we're going to dive into healing and fixing ourselves and our self-concepts, a little bit of Neville Goddard, a little Course in Miracles. And it really was sparked by a conversation I recently had with somebody that reached out to me and he said to me, Amy, I need some magic. <laughs> so I said, okay. So what we talked about was what he was going through. Um, basically a physical condition that came on suddenly. He went to a bunch of doctors. They really didn't know what was going on. Um, and he, after the seventh specialist, they said, basically, it's psychosomatic. It's all in your head. We can't find anything physically, physically wrong with you. And so we had a conversation around that. And basically, what he did was what we all do, we tend to do is he was going into what do I need to do? I need to fix myself. I need to heal this. You know, I need I, I you know, I need to do something about it. Maybe I need to meditate more. And we had a really deep conversation about that. And, and the next day I, I read, I picked up A Course in Miracles and read this chapter and I sent him a bunch of follow-up notes because really what, what came out of this is, is I said, it's, it's not about fixing anything. It's about who you're focused on. Who are you? Who are you being? And so this brings me to Neville Goddard's self-concept. This is going to be a deep, a deep dive into self-concept and healing anything in your life. So stick around. Neville Goddard said, we become what we contemplate and there's no one to change but self. No one to change but self. He's not talking about that 3D physical self that thinks that I have to go out there and heal my body or heal my thoughts or flip my thoughts or change my story or whatever. No, no, no. He's talking about going to that higher consciousness, who you really are, that eternal changeless you that is here in a physical body to expand, right? It's changeless, but it's expanding. It's eternal, but it's now, right? The Recognizing the paradoxical nature of existence is that we're always whole. We're always perfect right now, even in a physical body. So we want to stop putting our attention on the unwanted circumstances, on fixing ourselves, no matter if it's a bodily condition or a thought pattern, right? Labeling anything as unwanted is resisting right? Resisting what is resisting life and resisting that is not accepting yourself. Or in other words, seeing yourself through that narrow egoic physical lens, right? That physical you, instead of being more aware of the real picture, who you really are. That is true self-acceptance, not the temporary fleeting, you know, self-acceptance where you, you know, something happened and you're proud of yourself. No, we're talking about something way deeper. It's a higher consciousness. That's how you heal anything is to turn to who you really are, to broaden your awareness of being, that that you are whole, perfect, and healed right now, regardless of the changing 3D physical conditions. Because the 3D you, that physical mind, that egoic structure is always confused because it's it's always judging itself via the outer world. It doesn't know to go within. It doesn't have a within. It's just because it's not real. It's just a construct we make up, right? So we want to put our attention, take our attention off the circumstance, thinking that we can really do anything about it now and be that higher you. Expand your awareness. Taking your attention off what is and put your attention on 
who, not the specific what, what is. What is is always changing. But what isn't changing? The consciousness, the awareness of being that that is observing everything, right? Think about that. Think about how deep that is. You, who you really are, is the observer. The ultimate reality, the real you, the truth that's hidden in plain sight is observing everything. So if you're observing your illness or disease or a bodily condition or a physical something going on, circumstance out there, maybe it's debt, maybe it's um, something you don't want, a job or a relationship, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It can't be who you really are because it's always changing. And what doesn't change is the eternal you. The eternal you is only ever expanding into more, right? So you heal anything by being more aware of who you really are. I am that I am. That oneness with source, that oneness with God. Knowing that you are the center, you are a unique spark of that divine center and you're never separated from it. You can only ever think you are, right? The miracle, A Course in Miracles says the miracle does nothing. All it does is undo. The miracle, that's the magic, right? The miracle does nothing. All it does is undo. It, it undoes the illusion, the illusion of fear, the illusion of sickness, the illusion of separation. That's the only ever real problem ever is that we think we could be separated from our source, right? So to heal anything, you want to heal by going to your I am awareness that changes eternal you that is whole and perfect right now and allow that to take over your self-concept. Define yourself via that higher consciousness, not by the physical you that's always changing. It's constantly changing, right? Even though we can't see that, right? Because it's covered up by the illusion of linear time. So let me explain this, that I am-ness, that hidden truth within, by this Hindu legend I came across on the internet. This is so cool. It's a teaching. It said, according to Hindu legend, there was a god, Brahma, who held a meeting with all his other his council, all the other gods, and they said, I don't want the humans to know their divinity, to know who they really are. So we need to hide it. And so some of the council members said, okay, let's hide it deep within the earth. And Brahma said, no, we can't hide it deep in the earth because they'll find it there. Somebody else said, okay, well, let's hide it at the highest mountaintop. And Brahma said, no, they'll find it there too. They'll climb and climb and climb until they find it. And somebody else said, okay, let's Let's dive into the deepest ocean and hide it deep, deep, deep in the ocean. And Brahma said, no, they'll, they'll dive into the ocean. And Brahma said, wait, I got it. I know what to do. We'll hide it within them. They'll never look for it within themselves. What a powerful, powerful metaphor for how we forget who we really are. That's what Neville was teaching, that who you really are is that I am awareness, that consciousness behind the appearances. And how the legend ends, all the gods agreed that that was the perfect hiding place and the deed was done. And since that time, humans have been going up and down the earth, digging, diving, climbing, and exploring, searching for something that's already within themselves. We keep seeking for the answer out there in the doctors, the therapists, the coaches, the books. We keep seeking in the physical world because we don't know that the answers are already hidden within us in that higher I am that I am. You have that power. God gave you that power. Source energy made you in its image and likeness, and source energy does not make mistakes. We can only think we have the illusion, the experience of disease or of mistakes. 
So the, the way to heal anything is to go to that higher I am, where it's hidden within you, that ultimate truth that is changes and eternal, that is whole and perfect right now, that does nothing, that lets the miracle, lets the magic undo the illusion of fear, doubt, and worry, right? And Neville said, how you rearrange your mind, how you arrange your mind is everything. What you allow yourself to contemplate. Not what fleeting thoughts come and go. Don't, don't identify yourself with that, right? With the fleeting thoughts. They're great. They're constantly the chatter, chatter, chatter. Now, Neville said, assume it. Assume it's done. That's your only job. Assume it's done. And then thank the Father that, that I am awareness within you. And it will do it through you as you. That's the consciousness of being. The identity of I am whole and perfect. I am already that which I want to be. Because I'm not judging by the appearances of things but by the righteous judgment by who I really am. And Neville says you persist in that unseen reality by loving who you are, who you really are, not putting your power in the temporal conditions or the temporary thoughts and feelings. That's how you do it. You persist in who you really are. And that is what heals everything. It doesn't really heal it. It's just a return of remembering to identify yourself not by the fleeting circumstances and events of your life and define yourself as who you really are, whole and perfect right now and can be, do, and have anything. Because why else would you be made in the image and likeness of that source energy that doesn't ever make mistakes? That's only unconditional love telling you, you can be, do, and have it. So stop putting your power in the things, in the desire, and go back to who you really are. That understanding that desire came from that higher you, the unseen you. And to desire means to have. Like Neville says, to desire a state is to have it. So we have to reorient our mind around desire, meaning having, versus desire it, and then I have to go get it. I have to make it happen. I got to do something to be it. You don't have to do anything. Remember, being it means remembering who you really are. Healing anything is remembering who you really are. I am awareness. I am whoever I decide and say, I am. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking and sharing the video. Thank you for your comments. And if you'd like more content about how to create your ideal life, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we put out a video every Sunday. Uh, we'll see you soon.